Welcome guys to another episode on dynamic programming and today's topic is DPV 6.19 coin change with K or less coins and you're given unlimited of each. So with that, um, let me dive into uh, the problem. So a detailed problem statement, which is not as, <laughs> as much detailed. Uh, it's a very simple problem uh, and builds up on what we have seen in the episode 6.17 and 6.18. Um, in this problem, we are again given n coins x1 through xn and we are trying to make a value v. The only difference here from the last problem or last problems is that we can at most use k coins. And so let's see how we can incorporate this new constraint into our problem solution. So the way we build this uh, solution and the recursion is that for any given value, let's say you're given value V, you try all the coins for that value, right? One through N, all the X, you know, XG are the different coin values. So you try all those values. And if the coin goes uh, into that value, then you say one plus and then try the remaining value for uh, a sub problem, right? And this is how you build the recursion. Now, if the coin doesn't go, if the coin doesn't go here, then the value you can take as infinity. So the remaining part of this recursion is it's infinity if xj is greater than v. And you take the minimum of those two values. Either it's infinity or it's a value that goes. Uh, either way, you take a, a minimum of all these values and that's going to give you TV. So let's try to set up uh, the matrix form of this solution um, and uh, see how that works. So for my solution, I have set up on this uh, y-axis, I have set up the coin values 5 cents, 10 cents, 25 cents, 50 cents, and so on. You just line them up on this side, whatever your values are. And the order of these doesn't really matter. We're going to try all of them. And the order doesn't matter. Uh, I like to order them, but uh, I think uh, you can line them in any whichever way you like. Um, on this um, x-axis, you line them up on the value, right? So 0, 1, so on, till the value v. And now 0 helps set up the recursion. It's a boundary condition. And if you apply this, it's not going to make sense here because all of them return to infinity if you try to apply this recursion. So don't apply the recursion to zero. What we do is, for, as a boundary condition, we assume that if the value is zero, all the number of coins required uh, to make it is zero. And, and you assume that, that that's your boundary condition. Now, once you set up this boundary condition, then you start to run through the loop for this recursion. And um and see that you know we start value one through v and let's start to look at the value one now one does not go in any of these right so this part will not be true and so what do you get if, if that part is not true is infinity so you get infinity across all of them the minimum value for across infinities is infinity so for one we get infinity for two three so so on all the way up to five now see the five is the smallest coin here so when you get to five cents, that's where you can start to apply this equation. And the very first one it goes, and then if you take uh, five from five, what's remaining? Zero. So you look up here, zero, the answer was zero. The minimum value across all this, we wrote down here as zero. And you take this minimum value, and this will be built from one plus t of zero. And t of zero was zero here, right? So um, so the value here is 1 plus 0, which is 1. And then all the other values are infinity because this, this coin, uh, the value of 5, does not go across this. So there will be infinity. So minimum of infinity in 1 is 1. Okay. So we have solved for 5. We go to 6. And 6, we try to solve the same way. Now 6 also goes because 6 is um, bigger than 5. So you'll take 1 plus uh, t of 6 minus 5, which is 1. And what is 1? Infinity. So 1 plus infinity is infinity, and the rest of them will be infinity. So again, this is all infinity. So hopefully you got a hang of the application of the recursion here, um, or this, um, you know, how to break it into 
subproblems and and then we apply it all the way up to the right side till we reach the value v in the last column and once you've reached the value v you've written down the minimum value here you do a final check and you make sure that that minimum number of coins is less than or equal to k and if that is then you have the answer if no then you know that that's not possible to make it less than less than or equal to k and that would be your answer now what is the order of this solution the order of the solution because you have n coins on this side and the value v on the uh, x axis the order is nv right the order is nv and um, so just to summarize the key points of the problem remember how to set up this uh, initial condition uh, or the boundary condition is very important because the equation doesn't define this and then you run the equation and you go from value 1 to the value v and you run through all coins for any given value you then summarize and write the minimum value right up here and then you use this value when you go to the next stage you only use the values which are minimum on this top right so you point to them like this you point to all the previous values as the minimum value and and then you reach the last column once you've written the minimum you do this final check and that gives you the answer so that's it guys thanks for um, watching this concludes the series on the coins and uh, i think that if you have any confusion on handling coins i would recommend you look at the backpack problem which is what this is um, modeled after um, and uh, definitely look at backpack problem and look at the problems 6.17 6.18 and 6.19 that's a pretty nice breakdown of these sorts of problems and uh, if you have any questions comments leave them for me if you like this episode subscribe to my channel and i'll bring you more of the same um, dynamic programming set uh, in the future and so stay tuned and keep watching and i'll be back next time until then take care and bye bye